Hij werd geboren in Southampton. Hij heeft één oudere broer en één jongere zus. Al jong maakte hij furoren als clown van de familie. Op school deed hij niks. Geen wonder daarom dat zijn carrière begon als mislukt verkoper in een warenhuis... ...waar hij gek was op alle dames van de parfumerieafdeling... ...en als uiterst trage melkboer. En hij geeft niks om geld, heeft wel een rijbewijs, maar geen auto... ...doet elke dag zelfs in boodschappen... ...en heeft ondanks de gigantische bedragen die hem daarvoor geboden werden... ...altijd geweigerd om in een talkshow te verschijnen. Vraag ons dus niet waarom die vanavond wel bij ons is. We hebben hem een jaar geleden een brief geschreven... ...en opeens vorige week zei hij ja, ik houd mijn hart vast, maar hij ook... In elk geval heeft hij voor de zekerheid zijn regisseur meegenomen, omdat het zijn debuut is, Dennis Kirkland, voor het geval het niks wordt. Want wat wordt het? Een echt gesprek of totale chaos? Dennis Kirkland en de meest populaire komiek ter wereld zijn hier. De man die al zijn teksten en liedjes zelf schrijft, wie door critici vaak gebrek aan iedere vorm van subtiliteit verweten wordt, omdat het woord kont te centraal in zijn leven staat. Do you have any sexy pictures of your wife in the nude, huh? Certainly not. Want to buy some? <laughs> Hi. De regisseur Dennis Kirkland en de topcomic ter wereld, Mr. Benny Hill. Oh, they didn't tell me that. Yes. How was your first night in Amsterdam? Oh, we had a lovely, didn't we? It was so good, his case comes up next Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't get a discount, do we? No, we not that I know. We had a lovely yeah. bar, and I was in the bar the night before last. Yes. Yep. And did you see the lovely blonde girl? Oh, she's beautiful. Fabulous. Beautiful. So, you know, no, no, I oh, know yeah. how to treat a lady. I know how to pay compliments. Because <laughs> I've been around a bit, you know. <laughs> <laughs> she went up to her and I said... Osterblift Westmetu, just like that. <laughs> Once more, I, please. <laughs> I said, but you have the most beautiful, radiant, luxuriant, natural blonde hair I have ever seen in my entire life. Why do you dye the roots black? <laughs> Now, I could see she was impressed because she looked me in the eye and she said, oh, if only you were 20 years younger. <laughs> and I said, I said... <laughs> Oh, oh. I said, if I was only 20 years younger, why? She said, then you could take my mother out. <laughs> <laughs> They're bright, these girls. That's right. right. We've seen you so many times in Dutch commercials. Yes. You're such a rich and wealthy man. Why do That's you do true. Dutch commercials? You, you re remember your first one? How many years was that ago for De Gruyter? Uh, that I said, if I can remember it, Wat is dat jammer van overse café meneer de Gruyter? Thank you very much. That's not bad. The thing is, I do, I do that very well because I always get a lot of <clears throat> stuff at the back of my throat and I'm always going... <laughs> That's how you do Dutch. <laughs> Where do you keep all your billions? My billions? I don't have but I have a few pounds knocking around. I, I leave it in the bank, you know. They phone me up every now and again and say, can we have some more? So I say, all right. <laughs> and you don't give a damn about money, do you? No, no, I'm not terribly interested in money. I do. Yes. He does, he does. <laughs> I do. Because he hasn't got any. I've got children, that's, I haven't got any, that's right. <laughs> no, I never wanted to be the richest man in the cemetery, so I don't work very hard. <laughs> I, no, I do about three one-hour shows, you see, three, can't even count. <laughs> like three one-hour shows per year which are then divided up into half hours, and I think you get the half hours more than the one hours over here. Yes. Right, yes. And you write everything yourself, even the song. I steal it all myself, <laughs> yes. Years ago, I used to steal, steal from Wim Somerveld. 
who was oh. very popular in England many years ago. And incidentally, do you, do you know <coughs> that Pierre Beck used to be on my show? No. He used to play piano on me, yes. yes. And you had more Dutch people in your program? No, only those two. We couldn't afford the others. No. <laughs> <laughs> Far too expensive. <laughs> You've been directing also all Tommy Cooper shows I, 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 for the I, last years I, of his life. I'll be... Oh, the phone. Ellis? Um, um. All on me... Oh, the phone. Talk in this one. Hello. <laughs> yes, I used to do. Yes. Oh, Tommy, great, great friend of ours. Yes, and yes. Uh, we, we, do you know, we miss Tommy Cooper. Oh, we, we really do. We really miss him every, every day. I do. I, do, I really do. <laughs> how difficult is it to? <laughs> <laughs> it's true. How, how difficult is it to work with a director who is at least as funny as you are? Where is Where he? Is he? <laughs> Get rid of him. Get rid of him. <laughs> Sex is not an important part in your humor, is it? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it is in my life, if it's not in my humor. Yes. <laughs> oh, yes, it is. But, oh, no, it's <laughs> not. Oh, yes, it is. <laughs> oh, no, it's not. Aren't you surprised that we are understanding everything without subtitles? Very because very you, you did not bring very, your own subtitles. Very bright. Yes. Very... Is it, it that man holding the card up saying, laugh? Is that what it is? We don't need that for you. Are you sure? Yes, I'm afraid we so. We had somebody hold up a card, laugh, and somebody in the audience put up a card, ha ha. <laughs> in Holland, talking about a milkman. Don't panic, don't panic. I never Steve, panic. We're on your side. No, please. I had Freg the Jonge already, so I and never panic anymore. Friends, he was nice, wasn't he? Yeah, nice yes, man. Yeah. Did you understand him with that Hated subtitles? him, he kept getting laughs. <laughs> In Holland, we say that if a child does not uh, resemble its parent, they say it must be the milkman's. Oh, no, I was very careful. <laughs> and I was using them long before they became popular. <laughs> you used to live in a condominium, didn't you? That's where they keep them, That's yes. where they keep yes. them, yeah. An English condominium. <laughs> What's in the name? I don't know. <laughs> it depends what you put in the name. <laughs> Like that. When you worked at Woolworth, because that was yes. one of your first jobs, you <coughs> fell in love with all 16 girls of the perfume department? No, there, no, no, there were only, I think, two girls on the perfume department, but there were about 16 or 20 girls in the store. Yes. yes. And always, I, had, I, was, I was about 15 when I, when I started at Woolworths, and I had to clean the store up. And of course, if ever a dog did anything naughty, <laughs> he always did it right outside the department where my... Paramore lived, the girl I was fond of. And they say humility is good for the soul. And when there's the girl you love and you've got to go and clean it up. Like that. <laughs> that learned you to be humble. Absolutely. Yes. You're down, yeah. you, in your entire life, you only proposed once. Once. And I refused. <laughs> you were refused? <laughs> Deal. No. Sorry. I, I can imagine that girl must have jumped at the chance and, and grabbed you. No, no, she didn't. <laughs> I, I, I proposed on, on the phone and the, on a Saturday night, and she said, I'll phone you Sunday morning and let you know. Uh, and I must admit that as I walked out of the telephone box, I did think, have I spoken too soon? Have I said too much? I wasn't, you know. And she phoned me up Sunday morning, said no, and married a dentist. She dropped you for a dentist? Yes, so she gets her teeth fixed for nothing. Yes. <laughs> and she laughed at you? Yes. Oh, no, no, we can't. With her own teeth? No, we can't do that. So didn't you consider becoming a dentist yourself then at the time? Uh, no, not at all, no. I, I, what did I consider? I oh, considered staying a bachelor, yeah. like my father. Nevertheless. Yeah. <laughs> Talking about your humour, we, we made a, a short film yes. of some scenes. Let's, let's yes. have a look at it. I oh, hope you can see it. <laughs> Radio says there's going to be a blizzard tonight. Hello. Yes, my darling. I'm doing the washing up. Oh. Would you give me a hand? Certainly. <laughs> uh. 
not, not all critics seem to fully understand all your jokes. Oh, but, which but reminds me, we must just do... Cause what? I don't this. What? We, we promised we'd do something visual on the show. Yes. Oh, yes, so maybe visual. We will Let's do our, our impersonation. Do this is called Woman on a Tube Train. Oh, metro, Metro. Woman on the metro. the metro. I play the part of a woman. That's the character part. <laughs> <laughs> he plays the part of a man. Another character part. Woman on a Tube Train. <laughs> Young man, would you mind moving your hand? Oh, that's lovely, thank you. <laughs> Ooh, no, no. <laughs> As I said, yes. not, not all critics seem to fully understand uh, <laughs> no. you all, your, all your show. jokes. I knew you were going to say that, and I thought yes. we'd, we'd But show. how would you describe Mr. Benny Hill's uh, brand of humor. Is it rubbish? All based on. <laughs> <laughs> Utter rubbish. No, oh, uh, well, it's, uh, it, it's just what we've done there. Like, there's a visual that has an English uh, line to it, and they got a nice laugh, I'm pleased to say. And it, he's visual. Failure. All good comedy is based on failure. Yes. I've never. It, winning the pools is not funny. Winning the pools and not posting the coupon is funny. Yes. Okay, it's true though, isn't it? Yes. It's all failure. Everything is failure in comedy, if you, if you watch carefully. Nevertheless, you are still the most, most eligible bachelor in the world. I read oh, in the American me. newspaper. Oh, marry me. <laughs> Not at my age. <laughs> is it because of your cheeks? My che oh, my cheeks. Oh, no. Oh, these the, cheeks. That were described okay. once, I think, in a French magazine yes. as being like deux saints sans point, <laughs> which means two bosoms without nipples. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't write it. It was Francois Sagan or someone like that. <laughs> so, are you going to marry one day because you oh, have I should so think... many girls in the no, show I all the time? Think I'm a little bit past all that, you know. Oh, I don't know. Oh, well. Bit of a helping hand and a few tablets. Well, it's my guess. <laughs> <laughs> getting through it. I don't know. I, mean, I haven't given it a lot of thought. It's, it's, it's good and bad. Cause, cause, you see, he goes home to well. a wife and children, but the, next week I can go to Japan. He can't. Yeah, it's true. He's got to say, please, can I go yeah. to Japan? Or please, can I go to Australia? Well, my mother's coming on Friday. <laughs> yes, <laughs> so, yeah, I, I, I can jump up. Yeah. I can go anywhere I like, any time I like. But I come back to an empty flat. So it's as broad as it's long. You know? It was a great pleasure and honor having you here. It, it was, was lovely great... to have, a, have you here as well. Thank you. <laughs> I'm here normally. It was and, not lovely to be here. Could you please rephrase that one phrase of De Guiders? Because. I found Did it. You want bit. it again? Yes, you, it's the oh. best phrase I heard since years. You ready? Go on, make it, make it, Ben. What is dot yama van versa cafe manier de Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Dennis Kirkland and Benny Hill.